One of the things that we have to do with this process as well that differs from what we've done uh, so far is that we need to have uh, dampened paper for this. Um, so we're going to use this soaking tub for that purpose. Um, so I wouldn't put anything more than two pieces of paper in here at a, here at a time. Uh, and also to help kind of distinguish your paper from everyone else's, um, it's helpful to, on the back of your paper, just in pencil, to write your initials so they can identify uh, whose paper is whose. Um, so I wouldn't put more than two in here at a time, one just so we don't clog this up too quickly. Um, also because you don't want your paper to sit for too long, just place it in the tub and kind of push it down so that it's fully submerged. And we'll just let that sit in there uh, and soak as we get our ink mixed up. Uh, so also we're going to have uh, different ink that we've used uh, previously. Um, so you guys will have options for inks for this. Uh, we have this blue black that I'm using as a demonstration, uh, which is sort of a cooler black. Uh, it tends to give you a nice contrast. Uh, we have a Renaissance black as well, which is more of a warm kind of brown black. And then we have a bone black, which is just a more of a, you know, kind of straightforward carbon black. So I'm using the blue black. Um, so I'm going to get some ink out of the can um, in the same way that we would any other time. So make sure that you're just kind of skimming the top of the can. You're not just uh, sticking your knife down in there and gouging the ink, but you're skim uh, skimming the top of the can. So I'll just start with, with that for now. Uh, and then again, make sure that you're um, just spraying the top of, of your can with that anti-skin before uh, you close it back up. To this ink, and I'm just gonna get a little feel for it. Um, this isn't terribly tacky. So the, uh, the relative tackiness of this ink is going to vary um, by the color of ink, also by the manufacturer. So we have, uh, for most of the inks, we have the graphic chemical and ink. Um, Intaglio inks, we do have a couple of them that are a different manufacturer. So we kind of just have to get a little feel for this before I start to modify it so I can have a better idea of how um, I need to modify that ink or I need to add to it um, to get it to behave the way I want it to. Um, so as I said, it doesn't really feel terribly tacky. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, this, which is called Easy Wipe Compound, sort of a uh, peanut buttery sort of color. Um, and I'm just gonna start off by just kind of dipping just the end of my knife in there, just pulling off a little bit with a clean knife. And I'll incorporate that. Um, just starting to kind of soften it up a little bit. So with this Easy Wipe, it's going to reduce the tackiness of that ink um, and make it easier to wipe, hence the name. So we'll get a little bit more out, just kind of enough to cover just the corner of my knife there. Put that on the slab and I'll mix that in. Okay, that feels pretty good. Um, so as I said, you know, this this kind of recipe is going to differ really from color of ink and manufacturer. So uh, if you're unsure of how to modify it, just let me know. Um, and then we'll, you know, add an easy wipe as we need to, uh, potentially add like some tack reducer or even some plate oil. Um, but that feels pretty good. That's a pretty good workable consistency. Um, so also, we're not going to be applying ink the same way that we did before. Um, so rather than using a brayer to actually apply ink, we're going to use one of these uh, inking cards here, which are in the uh, second drawer. So uh, this is just a plastic card that we can get from like a auto parts store. Uh, these are actually used to apply uh, Bondo, like fiberglass, but we just use them um, as a way to spread and apply ink. Um, so again, you guys can use the uh, silicone mats underneath your plates to keep it from sliding around quite as much. Um, the thing that I will say you really need to keep in mind if you are using the silicone mats is that they're going to get dirty really quickly. So to avoid just having a big mess on your plate edges in the back of your plate, um, make sure that periodically um, you are moving your silicone mat to one of the uh, clean um, areas and uh, wiping that down thoroughly both on the front and back uh, because again you're going to have a big accumulation of ink um, on that silicone mat so i'm not going to use one for this i'm just going to um, allow the plate to rest on here and then i'll be holding it as well all right so we're going to take our inking card here and it's going to pull off some ink 
just enough to where it kind of uh, covers the edge about maybe, oh, I would say a quarter of an inch or so. And I'm going to pick up my plate. Um, I'm gonna place my card right on the top and outer edge, and I'm just going to pull it down toward me. So you should have enough ink to where, as you pull it, um, it's able to cover that entire area. So I still have a good bit of ink left on my card, so now I'm going to pull it across the top this way, and then I'll pull it down again this way. So we just need to get the entire plate covered. So you can go different directions, or you can you know maintain the same direction, just sort of coming vertically. All right, so still need to go a little bit on that edge here, so we'll kind of pull some of this out to that edge, make sure that gets covered. All right, so now that we've got uh, the plate generally covered with ink, I'm gonna start to uh, remove some of the excess ink. So I'm gonna start by just kind of wiping or carting some of that ink off of the edge where it's sort of a heavier accumulation, okay? So using the same kind of motion, so just kind of start with the uh, card, turn it up and down, and then pull it down towards you just a little bit. You don't want to have too steep of an angle because then you're gonna, it's not gonna actually pull off um, enough of the ink. So just allow the kind of um, natural flex of that inking card do the work for you. So essentially just hold it straight up and down uh, and then pull it towards you just slightly. And again, just allow the flex of the card to actually do the work for you. So you don't want to have um, that card at an angle to where it's it's really kind of flat like that. Uh, so again, just as you go over it, um, just wipe the excess ink back onto your slab, and then we can actually scrape this up and reintroduce uh, it to our remaining ink. All right, so again, just carting off some of this excess. Um, I'm gonna get up here with sort of a bigger accumulation of ink on that edge, so I'll just kind of card that off and deposit that back onto my slab. And then, yeah, I can just scrape this up and put that back into my mixing file. All right, so we have the uh, entire plate carded now. Um, so the next thing you're gonna do is we're going to start wiping the plate. So to do that, we're gonna use a piece of tarlatan, which looks like this. Um, so we're gonna have some fresh tarlatan in here as well. Um, so there'll be some fresh tarlatan, and then as these get used, they kind of progressively go down. Um, so the ones that are gently used, they go in the uh, uh, second little cubby there, and then once they've been used a lot, they'll go into the, uh, the bottom cubby before they end up um, getting put into our waste container. So uh, tarlatan is basically just a piece of uh, starched cheesecloth. So we're gonna use this to um, continue to wipe and remove the excess ink, also to kind of smooth it out. Um, so when you're using the tarleton, you want to form it into a nice uh, tight ball, which is what I'm doing right now. All right, so first I'm just gonna go right along those edges and just kind of wipe off some of that heavy ink where it's still accumulated on the edge. Okay, so as we're wiping with the tarleton, um, we want to do kind of big circles Uh, and fairly light pressure, uh, just you know enough pressure to where um, I can I can move this around uh, easily. I'm really not um, pushing down very hard on this. I'm just applying whatever pressure necessary to be able to move and control uh, the tarlatan as I'm doing these these big circles. Um, so it's really difficult um, for your tarlatan to pass over your plate. Um, that could be an indication that your ink is, is too tacky. Um, so in that case, um, for any subsequent prints, you might want to consider um, modifying your ink, making some adjustments. Um, so that's not quite as tacky uh, because this should be you know fairly workable. Um, that being said, you don't want to modify it to where um, it's too lean, meaning that um, you have too high of a ratio of your oils or modifiers to the ink, uh, because then you, you run more of a risk of over wiping your plate. Okay, so starting to kind of see things coming through a little bit more. So I'm just gonna turn this inside out and try to find um, a little bit cleaner section of tarlatan to use. 
And again, just make sure you form it into a nice tight ball. So as I said, if uh, it's more comfortable, um, you can do your wiping and carding um, on one of those silicone masks. This is just the way that I prefer to do it. Um, it's less messy. Also, I just feel like I have uh, better control because I can kind of move the plate around as I need to. Um, for me, it's just easier to kind of see what's going on. All right, so we're starting to see more and more uh, the image of the ground coming through. So I just continue to go over the plate with the tarlatan. I'm just going to adjust my tarlatan one more time. We'll do a little bit more of the tarlatan, I think, then we'll be ready to go ahead and go into um, the next wiping stage. All right, so now we're gonna come in uh, for the next step. And for that, we're gonna grab uh, a phone book page. So there's some phone books directly underneath uh, this table. So just grab one of these phone book pages. Um, so as we're doing this, make sure that you're avoiding the urge to just kind of crumple this up. So leave it flat. Uh, I'm using light pressure, right? Just enough pressure to be able to kind of guide it with my fingertips. Um, I'm just gonna work the entire plate with this phone book page. So I'm starting to uh, pull out highlights more and just continuing to wipe the plate. I'm really kind of looking at areas where uh, I know I need to pull out some highlights. So something that um, I mentioned um, in previous uh, lecture uh, I've talked about before um, is what's called plate tone. So that is where um, you still have um, some ink film kind of left behind. Um, so plate tone gives you a nice uh, kind of tonal quality. Uh, and again, that's just where there are areas of the plate that haven't been completely fully wiped. Um, to where they would actually print as, as white or whatever your underlying paper color is. Um, so that's something you'd experiment with. Uh, again, you know, you have to submit an addition of these. Um, and while plate tone has some nice attributes, um, as I've said before, um, it can be kind of tricky um, to reproduce uh, that, kind of, that kind of subtlety. So um, it is something you can experiment with uh, to some degree. Uh, but just sort of keep in mind that, you know, if you're using it um, excessively um, because of how sort of subtle and nuanced it is, um, because it's really just about, you know, really small variations in pressure uh, and things like that, um, it can be difficult to, to reproduce that. So um, we're getting there. So I'm going to leave some of these areas down here a little bit and then some in the sky as well. So I'm not going to fully wipe it. Um, I want to leave um, some plates on there. So we won't actually really be able to see that until we actually printing it. So now I'm just kind of doing more of a general wipe in some of these bigger sections.
So as you can probably tell already, um, this is going to take a little bit longer uh, for you to process your image uh, than it did with uh, the previous project, with the relief project. Um, it just takes longer to apply the ink and it takes longer to, to actually work the ink uh, to process it. So that's something you will need to keep in mind um, as you're kind of you know, planning things out to allow yourself uh, a bit you know, bigger window um, to, be able, to be able to actually print your additions because it does take a bit longer. All right, I think we're looking pretty good there. So uh, still left some plate tone in some areas, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, so the last little thing we need to do before we actually are ready to take this over uh, to the press uh, is to wipe the edges. So let's take a paper towel, uh, kind of wrap it around our thumb, just like that. And I'm going to just go right along the edges uh, just to actually wipe that edge off. You know what? There's one more thing I'm going to do real quick. Um, so I've still got some heavier ink um, right along the edge of uh, my image, which I don't particularly care for. I don't really want that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do some hand wiping. So I'm just going to be using uh, just the, the kind of blade edge of my palm here. Um, so I'm going to wipe out toward the edge um, just to kind of pull some of that ink that's, that's resting on the edge off. Okay, and then we'll do one more kind of go over with the paper towel again, just wrapping it around my thumb um, and just wiping off the outer edge of that plate. Okay, so the last little thing we need to do is just check the back side to see if we have any ink accumulation there. Uh, if you do, you can just carefully wipe that off with a paper towel. Um, if you don't wipe off the back of the plate, especially if you have any, any ink that's right on the edges of the plate, um, that's gonna have a tendency once you run it through the press for that ink um, to actually squeeze out onto your image, uh, which you likely don't want. Um, so just make sure to check the back of the plate as well. Um, and if needed, um, wipe down the, the back of the plate. All right, so I'm gonna grab, uh, grab my paper out of the bath and we'll walk this over the press bed and run it through. All right, so um, after you have your plate inked up and it's ready to actually print, um, we're gonna grab some paper out of the bath. So just make sure your hands are clean, pick it up, um, let it drip back into the bath. Um, and then we're just going to walk it over here uh, to our towel. So we just want to flip the top portion of the towel up um, place this down and then pull the top portion back over and just go over it with your hands to, uh, to kind of blot it. Um, there's some rollers up here as well if you would like to use a roller. Uh, I generally just use my hands so just kind of go over it to blot it. So it should still feel slightly kind of cool to the touch um, and be a little bit damp. We don't want it to be um, overly saturated. All right, so I have this set to be uh, with an inch border. So as before, 
Uh, just use this grid to your advantage. Um, so I have, in the case of an edge border, it's a full one of these squares, and then I'm using kind of this uh, X, Y axis vertex point um, to position and align my paper. Newsprint down on these boards as well. And then we'll pull the blankets over. So our press settings for this are going to be different from um, the previous project for the relief. So we have different calibration. So just make sure as always, before you start printing, um, come and check the calibration settings so that um, it's registering um, the correct setting for, uh, in this case, the uh, Italian prints. So um, I have this set to seven um, over four. So it's gonna be a good bit more pressure than what we had used previously. Uh, and we need more pressure to process these plates. So uh, once you actually hit the plate, you might feel a little bit more resistance, um, but if it's really difficult for you to turn, then that's usually an indication that there's too much pressure, so you need to go ahead and, and check the settings again and make adjustments as needed. Uh, but most likely you won't feel resistance um, as, you're, as you're rolling through. All right, so let's grab from the top edge it back and there we go all right so after you, you ran it through um, and pulled a proof um, or if you're actually working on your addition um, make sure you put on the rack of course um, so as always make sure that you're wiping out the press bed so just have a paper towel with a little bit of mineral spirits on it handy um, so you can wipe the press bed down uh, in between every printing all right, so now that we've done that, we can take this back over to um, our inking slab, get the plate cleaned up. So it's not always necessary to clean your plate in between. Um, I would generally suggest cleaning your plate at least after every other print, um, because otherwise you start to sort of build up uh, an accumulation of, of ink and that can affect um, the consistency and quality of your prints. Uh, but if you are cleaning your plate, then the best way to do that um, is just use mineral spirits, paper towel, um, as we as we generally do, uh, wipe the plate off completely. Make sure you dry it thoroughly so that you're not, you're not leaving uh, any mineral spirit residue in the plate, especially if you are intending to uh, print again. So I'll just apply some mineral spirits directly to a paper towel, and I'll just wipe the plate directly. Just make sure I'm getting all the way out to the edges, wiping the actual edge of the plate itself. So just keep wiping it off. Well, there's no visible ink. Um, also, if you are done printing for the day, you would definitely want to go ahead and, and clean your plate all the way um, using this, this method. Um, so just completely clean your plate before uh, you leave for the day, and then you can come back and resume printing another time. Um, you would want to go ahead and clean this completely. Um, make sure also, just as kind of general practice, uh, make sure that anytime you're, you're cleaning your plates, um, you are doing so away from, from any ink that's being used um, so that you don't contaminate the ink by introducing mineral spirits into it. So when you're, when you're dispensing mineral spirits, try to do it away from the actual glass slab uh, so again, you don't run the risk of contaminating your ink. I'm just going to wipe this again. So the goal is for this to be clean enough to where as I go over it with paper towel, it's no longer discolored. So I'll kind of uh, flip it over to the clean portion of the paper towel, continue to wipe it until um, there's no discoloration coming off on the paper towel, which is an indication that the plate's been completely cleaned. All right, so one more time, just with a uh, clean paper towel. Make sure this is wiped 
thoroughly. Uh, and also, if you if you are leaving any kind of mineral spirit residue, um, that will interfere with your ink and cause problems. Um, also, a, a common thing that I see a lot of times uh, with these, um, as I've already said, it's important to make sure that you're thoroughly cleaning the back of the plate. Um, but as you're doing that, uh, make sure that you're not introducing mineral spirits into the back of the plate and leaving a lot of mineral spirit residue because that, again, will, will bleed through. Um, also, if you're wiping out the press bed, again, make sure that you're not oversaturating the press bed with mineral spirits. Um, all those things can cause the ink to bleed. Okay, so once this has been wiped down thoroughly uh, and it's nice and dry, um, you can go ahead and do the same process again. So uh, you would repeat this process for every print. So before every print, you need to card the ink on, uh, use a tarleton, and then continue to wipe the ink off. So that has to be repeated for every print. So as I said, um, it is a more involved process. It takes longer to actually process these plates for printing. So just keep that in mind as you're kind of planning things out. Um, it might require, you know, at least uh, two printing sessions to complete your edition. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so clean it off and then just uh, rinse and repeat and do the same thing for all the prints of your edition.